So, is this the end of the summer alpine season? Well, not necessarily, but it's certainly not far off. As such, many of the lifts and many of the huts are either already closed or they're closing imminently in the next few days. More on that in a bit. But yeah, we're in the middle of our first major polar plunge of the winter season. And as such, temperatures across much of Western Europe now are well, 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 well below average. Not that that is particularly unusual. The nature of averages when it comes to weather in a temperate climate such as this is it's actually very rarely average temperatures. Especially in spring and autumn, that's when the temperature contrasts are the greatest. So you get quite large swings either side of the average. It's actually very rarely average temperature. And as you can see, we had our first lying snow of the season down to quite low elevations. Indeed, it's absolutely Baltic up here. It's often warmer than this when you're skiing in February. I think it's currently around minus four at the mid-station of Flagere, which is around about 1800 metres. Up at the top of index here now, minus six, maybe even colder. Plus wind chill, so yeah, really cold in the chairlift. The snow line is quite variable at the moment, as most of the precipitation we've had over the last day or so has been in the form of showers, so some places have caught it, others have missed it completely. But here at Flagere, there was a thin covering of snow on the trees just below the mid-station, down to maybe 1700 metres. Further up the valley towards the tour, looks like it's even less, but in the Zeus direction, the snow line is much lower, at least 1600 metres, and the trees have got a lot more snow on them. And then out of the valley, towards where I live, down in Passy, up at um, Passy Planjou, the little ski area down there, the trees were looking absolutely blasted, and that's at around 1300 metres. So yeah, the snow line is pretty low, anywhere that's caught a decent sized shower, and yeah, it's coming down again quite heavy right now. Up here at the top of the index chairlift, which is about 2,300, 2,400 meters, there's been maybe 10 centimeters of snow so far. More where it's drifted, of course, and then, yes, anywhere that's caught the sun a lot, it's mounted a bit. But before today, it's reported that there've been 20 centimeters of snow at 3,000 meters, and over the course of this last week, there've been around 80 centimeters of snow at the top of the Giz Midi. And again, it's been snowing all last night and more today as well. So maybe 90 centimeters, maybe even a meter of snow has fallen at 3,800 meters over the last four or five days. So yeah, that's pretty impressive. Of course, with that comes all the usual dangers of the high mountains in winter. So wind slab, soft cornices, weak snow bridges. So yeah, while everything may look pretty and it's great to finally be filling in the glaciers again, it's actually probably, they're actually at the most dangerous right now, really because as of a few days ago they're incredibly open incredibly dry after the heat of august they're as open as they get now maybe a meter of soft powdery snow literally just papering over the cracks so if you're venturing out into the high mountains at all anytime soon you need to be very very wary especially if you've not been heading out regularly over the last few weeks and seen where all the crevasses are because yeah that amount of snow is going to hide them very well, but it's got no stability. The snow bridges are going to be incredibly soft, incredibly weak, so yeah, beware. And it's pretty safe to assume now that we've probably had our first lasting snowfall of the winter 2024-2025 season, because although most of this will mount in the coming days, I expect some of it will survive. Certainly in the mint to upper mountain, at 3,000 3, meters plus, definitely this is going to survive maybe even down to here, around 2,400, 2,500 metres. So yeah, I guess in a way you could call this the start of winter. And back to the seasonal hut and lift closures. So as for the lifts, all the lifts at the Tor and Valacine are now closed. They've been closed for a week or so, as has Praion in the Zouche. This coming weekend, 15th of September, Bellevue in the Zouche also closes, as do all the Brevant lifts and the little chairlift in the Bosson. The following week, 22nd of September, up here at Fougere and the Index, they close, although they're going to reopen again for the October school half terms in mid-October. Finally, at the end of September, Tramway de Mont Blanc and the Panoramic Lift, which links up the Giz Midi and the um, Skyway in Italy, that closes on the 29th of September, so the final weekend of September. And after that, all that's left is the Giz Midi and Montenver, and they're open virtually year-round. They close for their annual maintenance on the 3rd of November. They'll be closed for all of November and potentially the start of December, depending on what the snow conditions are like. So yeah, if you're wanting to do lift access climbing in the Agui Rouge, for example, you haven't got much longer to be doing it. But as you can see right now, 
not going to climb anything anyway. And as for the huts, the Recan, Ajontier, Sharpua, Jura, Plangassia, and Bride huts have all shut recently in the last week or so. And then several huts had already closed for the season, such as over on the Italian side. The Guta hut on the normal route of the Mont Blanc, that's having to close early as well. That's closing today, I think, due to maintenance issues. But I believe Tete Russe is still open and Cosmix is still open. So if you are wanting to climb Mont Blanc, it is still possible, but not right now. Far too cold, far too much fresh snow for the next few days at least. So yeah, it really is starting to feel like autumn now. Many of the tourists are gone, lifts are closing or closed, huts are closing or closed, and the snow is back. So I, for one, will probably be getting my skis out pretty damn soon. And while I'm on the topic of seasonal closures, the Tunnel de Mont Blanc has closed now. It's been closed since the start of September until mid-December, the start of the ski season, really. So if you're thinking of being able to pop under the tunnel to do a quick hit on Grand Paradiso, or maybe you're wanting to climb some of the Swiss 4000ers from the Italian side, sadly, not possible now. You're gonna have to go the long way around if you want to do that over the Grand St. Bernard. So yeah, really, it's not feasible. And that also means that the Grand Jurassic is basically off the cards now, because if you're climbing it from this side, descending the Italian side, you're not gonna be able to get back. So yeah, that's it. For the end, that's the end of the season for the Grand Jurassic now as well too. And as for the Alpine climbing on this side of the Massif itself, there's really not to be, much to be going at right now. As I said in my previous videos, most of the big Alpine routes are out of the question for the season. It's been too hot and too dry through August and yeah even though there's been a meter of fresh snow up high now that's not going to change things really it's very much superficial it's not going to field in the Bergschrunds and the crasses enough to make it feasible and yeah the the rock's still gonna be unstable still gonna be dry and loose it's just gonna be powder on top of choss so yeah most of the alpine climbing around here is over for the season but not all it might still be possible to do some routes but yeah for now at least the snow also means that the rock routes are out of the question for at least the next couple of days and certainly the more northerly facing routes or more sheltered routes they're going to have snow on them on the ledges and in the cracks now indefinitely so yeah option for climbing high altitude rock is getting less and less right now too but when this weather all calms down we've had a couple of days of sun again the sun is still strong it will strip a lot of this snow pretty quickly so some routes Certainly the lower routes around the Plan de Guise sector, things like papillon that should be climbable. Stuff here in the Guy Rouge, like the Index for example, that'll be climbable again after a few days. Maybe things like the Perron's Traverse as well, that could be good. And I'm sure, no doubt, people will be venturing out onto things like the Cosmic Arette and the Rette Lawrence again, up on the Guy de Midi as well. As I say, it'll still be powder on tross, but it'll at least start to feel a bit more alpine again. You still need to be careful around the abseils. Still a lot of loose and stable rock, but yeah, like I say, people are going to be doing it. There'll be a, a well trodden track within a few days, I'm sure. With the risk of wind slab and everything that goes with it, the Trois Monts route is probably best avoided for quite a while now if you want to do Mont Blanc. But once the temperature warms back up again a little bit, the Gouta route should be in pretty good condition. The Grand Couloir is going to be as safe as it ever is now with this covering of fresh snow. The upper reaches, this will have filled in the crevasses again on the Bosses Ridge and Again, you have to be wary of potentially soft cornices, but other than that, the glassy conditions up properly up high should be pretty good again now. So yeah, people will still be doing the Guta Ridge on Mont Blanc, I'm sure. But like I say, the Guta Hut itself is closed, so you have to do it from the Tet Rousse Hut. So that's about it from a very snowy Aguille Rouge. I don't plan on this being my last Alpine condition support of the season. It might, but I certainly hope to be able to get the Action Cramons out a few more times at least before I hang them up for the year. But yeah, now at least it's pretty awesome to see some snow again and I'm itching to get my skis out. So I'm gonna head down and give them a bit of a wax. climbing the south face of the midi anytime soon. <laughs> 